Algebra 2 CREM, New York State, Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Statistics, Question 1, Selecting the Appropriate Study. Definitely inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to request your personalized review packages. Question 1, Appropriate Study. Lara's class is collecting data on the heights of 17-year-old males. Which type of study would be most appropriate and result in the most accurate data? Is it going to be one, a self-reporting survey, two, measurements taken by trained individuals, three, measurements taken by friends of each person, or four, a controlled experiment? Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. All right, so with this question, it may appear that more than one choice is correct, but we want to select the most correct option out of the answer choices provided. And this is where your test taking um, discernment comes into play because really, really good test takers will have a feel or an instinct for the most correct answer choice. And how do you um, become a really good test taker? Well, what you're doing here, practicing. The more exposure you have to answering Algebra 2 regions questions or statistics questions or any standardized test questions at all, the better you become at this task. So let's analyze each answer choice. Answer choice one, many people may not know their own heights precisely, so any self-reporting may actually be a guesstimate. There is also a possibility that some might intentionally misrepresent and exaggerate their heights, okay? Um, thus, this would probably not be the most accurate method. Answer choice two, this eliminates um, both of the problems from answer choice one, the issue of being one, inaccurate, and two, the possibility of intentionally misrepresenting one's height. This seems like a good method, um, so we're gonna hold on to this, okay? Since a trained individual is one, um, since the okay, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is since the individual is trained, we would expect the measurements to be accurate, okay? So basically, we're going to not consider answer choice one, but um, we're temporary, temporarily holding on to answer choice two. Now, as for answer choice three, many different individuals will be measuring which could result in a wide range of measurement errors, and this does not seem as accurate as, let's say, answer choice two. So we're not going to consider this either, okay? And last but not least, we have answer choice four, a controlled experiment, which we see pictured here. This kind of sort of has nothing to do with measuring heights, as we can see, since the class is not planning to compare heights on your, let's say, different circumstances, whether someone ingests a lot of sugar or salt, um, a control experiment is definitely not necessary and it's inappropriate for this type of data collection, okay? So I would say the correct answer choice is going to be answer choice two. Okay. All right. Thanks for tuning in and good luck studying.